Hi, this is Healing Drummer Toby Christensen. This is part two of our series on intentional drumming. Today we're going to talk about the rhythms that can help us shift the stories of our lives. One of the most important things to understand is and to pay attention to when we speak to ourselves, when we speak in conversations to others, is what stories are we telling? What are the aspects of our life that we are identified with that maybe are not so helpful? And also, what stories would we like to be living? If we could rewrite, there's a great song by uh, John Mayer, uh, Who Says is the name of the song. And uh, he says in there, uh, Who says I can't be free from all of the things I used to be? Rewrite my history, Who Says I Can't Be Free? It's a great little line that I refer to often. And if you were to rewrite your history, what would that story be? Because one of the things that we know is that the things we focus on, the things we think about, the things we speak about, are the things that we create in our lives. One of the aspects of this particular rhythm that I'm going to teach you today is that it will help assist in transforming or shifting the stories, helping us become aware of the stories that we hold that are no longer helpful to us, and it will help us to create or to uh, resonate, uh, if you will, uh, a new story within us. So let's get to the drumming. I think I talked to you before about uh, the, the hand positions, the bass tones, the open tones, and of course the slap. And uh, we're going to use all three of those in this particular rhythm. And the way that it goes is like this. Two bass tones, four open tones, two bass tones, and a slap. Okay, so uh, let's learn the rhythm and then we'll uh, take a moment and set some intention. So it goes like this. Bass, bass, tone, 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 bass, bass, slap. Bass, bass, tone, tone. Now in part one of this intentional drumming series, I talked to you about how the rhythm starts off uh, very simple, very basic, and then it will expand and it will become more complex as our uh, own energy connects with this uh, beautiful uh, energy that we are creating through the drum. So uh, allow yourself as you get into the, uh, into the rhythm, as you transfer your attention from the mind, bass, bass, tone, 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 bass, bass, slap, to the heart and the feeling of the rhythm and see what happens. While we do this, we're going to do two things. We're going to intend that the stories that no longer serve us will be identified and pushed through the drum and transformed. One of the sayings or one of the stories that I found so dear uh, as I've looked into the history of the drum, is about the Dogon people of Mali who talk about that. They say that the head of the drum is the ear of God, so never play it timidly. And as I've researched it as well and spent time with my drum, I see the, bell, the, the bowl of the drum as the womb of the Great Mother and the stem of the drum as the birth canal that can only birth peace and healing. So when we take our old stories and we put them through the drum, they literally are transformed energetically into peace and healing. What we also can allow at that point is for an ancient Dagara tradition that says that the greatness of all of our ancestors resides in our bones. And if we can allow the resonance of the drum or the rhythm of the drum to resonate through our bodies, to shake our bones, it will then shake stories loose of greatness. We may not know what our greatness is. It doesn't matter. If we hold the intention for our greatness to be birthed, it will birth us. So just trust that process and begin to play this rhythm with intention. Remember, holding firm to the rhythm and to the reason we're playing the rhythm, to transform our stories, to allow us to release those things that no longer serve us and to allow our greatness to emerge. Play with me.
things may start to come to mind as you begin to play. Let them come and send them down into the drum. And that's the rhythm that will help us change our stories. I encourage each and every one of you to spend some time on that rhythm. Spend five minutes a day for the next week. See what stories come up that you can release. And see what stories of greatness get birthed into your life. That's it for now. Remember to check back regularly at HealingDrummer.com and TobyChristensen.com for more videos, more instruction, and more information. Thank you.